What's up, Cappy? Number 42, Kasperi Kapanen. This far side picked off by Kapanen. He's loose on a breakaway. Kasperi Kapanen fakes the shot, shoots, he scores! Let's start off with the obvious first question. I mean, I think I know the answer, but I'm going to ask you anyway. How did you get into hockey? Yeah, I mean, I think it's, you know, pretty obvious having, uh, you know, my dad's history of playing. And, you know, ever since I saw him skate as a little kid, I, it's something I always wanted to do. Kapanen with a short-handed tally! 2-0 Philadelphia! I knew that, you know, I'd want to try to make that into my profession, and that's how it all started. I started skating as soon as I could. I'd walk around the house with skates on, so it's been a passion uh, forever. Kids who play hockey and have dads who play in the NHL often get more ice time and a chance to play with a puck and stick on the ice. So did you, do you remember having a great opportunities because your dad was a pro to be able to skate with the pros and with your dad? You know, sometimes I'd get the, the occasional day off of school and go to the rink and, and, you know, hang out with all the guys. It's a pretty cool feeling to hang out with them and skate on the ice after practice and kind of um, mess around with them. So um, I was, I'm, I'm very grateful that I got to do that. An amazing story that you got a chance to play with your dad in Calpa. What was that like? Weird would probably be the first word that I'd, I'd use. Uh, obviously, it was special for us uh, both and something that we always wanted to do, but it's pretty weird calling for the puck and, and yelling out dad on the ice and, and just kind of seeing him in the locker room and and you're making jokes and you're talking about stuff and then you kind of realize, you know, your dad's in the locker room. It's, it might be a little awkward sometimes, but lots of fights at the dinner table after games and, and uh, obviously we try to make up all the time, but it was, uh, you know, it was special. Well, Pittsburgh's up. This will be Jim Rutherford's first draft as the GM of the Pittsburgh Penguins after all those years with Carolina. If he's smart, he'd have talk and make the pick. I knew it wouldn't work, Jimmy. I knew it wouldn't work. <laughs> uh, the Pittsburgh Penguins are proud to present, uh, pick Caspery Kapanen from Calpo, Finland. So there you go. The connection to the Carolina Hurricanes. But there's Sammy Kapanen, who played with his son this year in the Finnish League. Jim Rutherford drafted your dad in 1995, and like 20 years later, he drafts you. It was in Philadelphia, too, where you, uh, your dad had played. Uh, an amazing kind of convergence of events, right? Did it strike you as that at the time? Yeah, I mean, it was, it was pretty cool. Um, even just going back to the, the rink and seeing all, the old security guards and um, some familiar faces. Hey, Jackie. Hey. 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 I kept that always your job. And then obviously kind of funny with him playing for the Flyers and me getting drafted by, by Pittsburgh and, and with you know all the boos going on in, in, the, in the crowd while I was getting drafted was pretty funny, but it was uh, something I'll never forget for sure. I mean, it's special to be here in Philly. Uh, I lived here for six years. I consider this my home, and uh, I was really excited to be here and be in the rink and see some new, new uh, faces and old faces at the same time, so it's, it's been a special moment for me. Welcome everybody. I think everybody has the news. Uh, we acquired uh, Kessel, Biggs, and Erickson today. You can never know with trades. It's over time is really how you judge trades. And we gave prospects and you don't know how they're going to turn out. At this time of year, just winning a draw is a big deal. Centering pass, skip! Kasperi Kapanen, I believe. Yes! You believe it? He comes back to haunt the Penguins with his first NHL goal. You score your first NHL goal against the team that drafted you, and it's a goal that's scored in a game that clinches a playoff spot for the Leafs. I mean, you couldn't write it any better than that at the time. That was pretty, pretty cool. I mean, I knew I, I probably played like 16, 17 games before that, and you know, no goals, and obviously getting a little frustrated. The biggest goal of the year for the Toronto Maple Leafs to this point. I know there's just something about playing you know the the pens with the history there and I would say wanted to you know thought about it and it'd be pretty cool to score and then we ended up winning so it was uh it was cool it was a really cool feeling just you know just doing my doing my thing in the morning and uh you know I kind of woke up and people were saying I might get traded or I got traded and didn't know what to believe and then I got Kyle uh Kyle called me and 
told me I was going to Pittsburgh, so um, super excited about that, obviously. The number, you flipped it around uh, this year. Uh, talk about that. I've always had 24, and then back in Finland, we, we started playing together on the same team, so I had to switch it. So I switched it to 42, um, you know, eventually. In Toronto, I got to play with 24 for a bit, and then, you know, with the trade and everything, I thought it was a, you know, it's a fresh start for me, a new beginning, so I thought I'd uh, switch it back and kind of, you know, just honor my dad and, and let him have uh, that number. So 42 is working out pretty well so far. Here comes Kapanen, maybe on a breakaway, settles the puck down, all alone, he scores! I call you the finish finisher because when you get chances, you don't uh, you don't miss them. You get breakaways, you bury it. Could you just talk about your burning desire to score goals and maybe where that came from and your ability to finish? It's weird because you know growing up playing here in the states, I, I never wanted to score. I was you know I played center and I and I just wanted to pass. I never wanted to score. And then I came back home to Finland when I was a kid and they had too many centers, so they put me on wing and then they told me to start shooting the puck and scoring and then I kind of caught a passion for it. Like you said, breakaways are a big part of my game. I feel like with my speed, I get a lot of chances and I've, I've practiced them over the years you know, a lot. If you can get a goalie and stay on the ice a little extra with, uh, with them and kind of, you know, even ask them about stuff like, what do you think about when a guy comes in like this? Or um, what about this move? Like, do you think this is a chance? I think there's uh, some sort of art to it for sure. You're a pretty smart guy, Cappy. Thanks a lot for your time. We really appreciate it. Appreciate it. Thank you.